tell me about it. Nice. I would love to tell you about it. Yay. It's so beautiful here. <laughs> mm. It's, um, where I'm sitting is oh, like a, a pool in a forest. Um, there's rocks all the way around it, natural rocks, and the pool goes really deep though, I know it goes really, really deep down into the deepness of this planet, and the rocks are wet, everything's wet, it's a very wet place, it's lush, and the plants are big and green and beautiful and I just like to sit in this pool and feel the water and there's a like a, a little dragon a water it's a water dragon but it has wings and it's with in the pool with me on the other side and it's like a shimmery pink, purple, yellow. It has lots of colours on its scales. <clears throat> it looks really magical. And then I know that this forest, this pool, is in the middle of a big forest. Mm-hmm. And that the forest is in like it's a crater of a volcano and it comes up out of the ocean but it's an old volcano it doesn't Mm -hmm. there's no heat anymore Mm. I think a long time ago it was a volcano Mm. and now it's kind of a crater and it protects us all because it has like walls that come up from the ocean and then inside that's where we live oh beautiful wow it sounds so magical Mm. what can you hear over there it's like here it has lots of life in it and insects I'm hearing the insects here now. Mm-hmm. It's a bit like that. There's mm-hmm. insects and birds and just sounds of the forest. Mm. How does it smell over there? Mm. Earthy and sweet. Yeah. Uh, perfume in the air from flowers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wet. Mm-hmm. Wet earth. Yeah. What do you feel yourself doing there right now? I'm putting my hand in the pool, sitting on the rock on the edge of the rock and I'm just putting my hand into the water and it it comes to say hello the water it mm-hmm. bubbles it's mm. wonderful and then I'm I'm swimming, going down into the pool now. And I like it because I can see, I can open my eyes and I can see mm-hmm. under the water. What do you see when you look down? There's, it's lots of rocks and just pretty, it's just pretty, there's little plants growing and fish and um, I 
we could go somewhere. Tell me what's happening as it happens. You can keep. <sighs> well, I'm kind of hovering. There's like a, an entrance. This is like a tunnel, this pool. Mm -hmm. And it goes down somewhere into the into somewhere I don't mm -hmm. know where because mm -hmm. I'm I'm swimming mm -hmm. I'm there in the water and I'm looking into this darkness now mm -hmm. this, and I guess I feel a little bit in trap scared mm -hmm. <clears throat> of going down into that tunnel but I also feel like I've I've done it before and I know what's down there yes well, just remember, there's nothing to worry about. You can take a deep breath mm. now. Let go of that fear completely into the light. And now you can mm. go through the tunnel. Okay, well, I've just been met. I'm assisted by a snake, a water snake. Mm -hmm. And a beautiful pearly white band. And we're going to swim together. The snake makes me feel strong. And I, I can swim underwater. I have, I don't know how I'm breathing, but I don't have to worry about that. Mm, yeah. So, actually, I feel like I have sort of wings at the back of my shoulder blades watery wings <laughs> mm -hmm. so I can use them and we can swim through this tunnel so that's what we're doing now swim through the tunnel swim through the tunnel the water is so warm it's like a bath mm. but I've got to come out I'm not mental I don't live in the water I can just be in the water for a long time. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we come out, me and the snake, we come out in this cavern, beautiful cavern. It's very, very big. Like, I don't know how big, I'm not good with bigness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like um, maybe six or seven story building high. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of round, but it's natural, so it's not perfectly round. It's got rocks, jaggedy sort of rocks everywhere, but it's like a cave and we've just swum up through the water and come out into it so we're in a pool of water or a lake it's big we're like yeah. in a lake and mm -hmm. the water is <clears throat> kind of glowing like mm -hmm. it's a very pale blue milky color and this place is really sacred and healing place and I feel like maybe sometimes it gets used for maybe maybe some small groups of people but mostly you come here on your own so I come here on my own and I sit on the rock in front of the pool and the pool makes the cavern glow so there's no light in the cave but I can still see from the water mm, and I'm really pleased that my snake is with me because he is a really good friend and He's like a familiar, mm -hmm. comes with me. Yeah. So we sit 
Mm. Okay, so now I have a staff, mm -hmm. and I'm sitting by the pool with a staff. And the staff. <laughs> 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 you can keep looking at yourself there and yeah it's okay it's really clear so my staff has got a like a smoky white ball on the top of it and it's made of wood natural piece of wood but it's been beautifully I don't know sanded and polished and um, it's it's really intricate it hasn't got decoration it's just wood but mm -hmm. there's something about really honoring the lines of that wood and how it naturally forms yeah. <sighs> can you look down to your feet and describe your body for me mm. I don't know well you told me not to worry I see mm -hmm. sandals but mm -hmm. I don't know how I've got sandals on because mm -hmm. I just swam mm -hmm. but anyway I have sandals okay. I have sandals yeah. They're little golden strap sandals um, nice scan yeah. up your body tell me more what else do you mm. well I'm a woman like similar to this body mm hmm um mm. It's very, very similar. It's almost like a template mm -hmm. has been doubled. It's a really comfortable body. I love this body. It's perfect body for me. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's it's strong but small <clears throat> and I have lean muscles and small breasts and nice skin similar color and kind of it's kind of like this body mm -hmm. how old do you feel there? Mm. 35 is the number that came to mind uh -huh. wonderful and I have um, really long Longer than my hair is now, blonde hair, mm -hmm. similar hair but longer, and really thick and really good condition, beautiful hair. Mm, I'm so beautiful. Mm, <laughs> mm. I'm so beautiful, and I, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Mm. Do you carry anything with your jewelries or? And you have the staff and there's anything else? I have a staff else? and I have a, I have a pouch, a bag, a little bag with little stones and crystals, mm -hmm. stones and crystals. And this, um, something that was happening before was that my snake, you, you you beweki something like that it's called you you be something you beweki let's say you mm -hmm. beweki is calling up the staff like this mm -hmm. mm. we work together mm -hmm. it's wonderful I'd love to learn more about that since it's very interesting. So I want you to take a deep breath, close that scent. We'll move to a time when you're working together and you can see something important that you're doing together. Okay. 
Well, mm, this one's good. We're flying on a dragon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes! <laughs> We're on a dragon together. That's... <laughs> That's how I get in and out of the island mm-hmm. on my dragon. I always wondered that. How do I fly into the volcano? It's on a dragon because you can't get in any other way. Mm-hmm. So we're on a dragon. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's see what's happening next. Keep flying around. Mm. Let's see what you're doing there. No, well, we're oh, we're leaving. We're leaving the home, the home island, and. I have my staff, and I have you, Boweki, and I have my pouch with the crystals. I have some plants <clears throat> as well, not lots of them, just little bits of plants. And we are flying somewhere across a sea. There's lots and lots and lots of sea. Mm. Well, coming to mm-hmm. this real ugliness ahead of me like it's humans human city mm-hmm. oh this is so so sad <laughs> I don't like what they've done mm. They just put all this concrete buildings on this ocean. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So we're flying. We're just getting closer and looking down at it. And just seeing the ugliness, more ugliness. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I just feel sort of, feel sort of sad seeing, seeing it all because it's like I'm, I'm flying over, over the city and I can look down into the streets and I can see and people mm-hmm. there um, this isn't today this is earlier time yeah. like it feels like it looks like the Greek islands mm. and um, but I don't know if it's Greece I don't know where it is it's more modern I don't know what I don't know where worry? it is because I can see it's confusing because I can see power lines okay well I can see maybe it is modern it's just an old place I think that's what was confusing it's an old place the Mm -hmm. buildings look old like really old like thousands of years Mm -hmm. but then the people are modern so they're wearing shorts and they have cell phones and there's power lines Mm -hmm. and they're they're selling stuff they're selling bad things like sweet sweets packets of sweets Mm -hmm. (laughs) silly things it's just so silly that they would be doing that and they're smoking Mm mm-hmm and they're really, really unhappy, mm. except for the children. I can hear children laughing, running, playing. It's a big melting pot, lots and lots of people living in this small space. Yeah. Mm. 
So oh, let's see what's happening next year. So what I do. Mm. There, not everyone can see me, mm-hmm. but I, me and my dragon, we, we go down, down into the street and we land. And it's totally okay because people can't see me if they can't see me. Mm-hmm. And it's sort of an empty street, but there's there's a little boy in the street. The little boy can see me. So I walk up to the little boy, and he's so curious. He wants to meet me, and he reaches and touches the staff. I show him the the ball on the top and I let him just hold it for a moment Mm. he's just holding it he's just holding it and it's it's like I'm giving him energy Mm -hmm. the stars Mm. How this energy is going to affect him? Mm. It's just going to help him because I know that he's going to forget and he's going to become like the others. But it, the energy will still be there. Mm. And when he's ready, he can use it. And also... I think if he remembers this moment with me, that he will maybe remember it years and years later as an adult, and it'll it'll change him, mm. and he'll he'll remember to do his work, whatever his work is, mm-hmm. and then some of these children. I think I give them the crystals that I have in my pouch. Mm -hmm. But I don't give the crystals to all the children because I know that some of them won't keep them. Mm. So I'm very careful who I give the crystals to. But this little boy, I feel like I'm going to give him a crystal. Mm. He's so sweet. Mm. See, I'm giving him a crystal because he's more interested in the crystal on my staff than he is in the dragon. Mm. And that means that he's ready. Mm. So he has a crystal and I give it to him. And then he can look at the dragon. Mm. But I can't stay long. Mm. I want to stay long. But I have to go. Mm -hmm. And I think he'd love to come for a ride, but I can't take him. Mm -hmm. I can't take anyone away. I have to leave them here. They have to do their business. So I can just come sometimes and show myself to them and give them gifts gifts of energy and light and sometimes crystals and then we go Mm. Mm. beautiful thank you for doing that Mm. well it feels like it feels it's beautiful but it's sad yeah. and it doesn't feel fast enough like it's so slow it's like we have it feels like I've been doing doing that for a long time without much change <laughs> mm. Mm. okay so let's fast forward to see what's happening next another important event let's close that scene moving forward to another important event in that lifetime 
Moving forward and arriving there now. Okay. So we're back in the cave, underwater cave. And this time there's a ceremony happening. And there's one, six, seven people. We are elders, I am older. And we are elders. And we are in a circle around a crystal ball, like the one that was on my staff, but bigger. Mm -hmm. And that is in the middle of us. And we are working for the ascension of this planet. We are focusing our love and attention into this ball. And this ball is connected to the crystals in the earth on the earth, in the earth, all over the earth. Mm. And this feels, this feels good work, meaningful work, mm -hmm. more quicker, I want to say quicker, mm -hmm. than the other work, yeah. which was slower. Yeah. This is working together and we need more people because we have to create bigger energy mm. and we are confident and we are happy, mm -hmm. happy. We're happy but we're serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have business important business and there's I get this feeling that there's groups of us collected like this many places not mm -hmm. just here this mm -hmm. is just one one ceremony mm. beautiful tell me more what's happening next Well, this, this ball is connecting into many places, but one place is the inner earth. <clears throat> Down in earth, there is another place where we live. And we are gathered there as well. Mm -hmm. And I can see these beings, mm -hmm. our brothers and sisters are down there too, mm -hmm. and we have created a network, a grid with our crystals, so we have them in this place that I'm at on my home planet, and we have them in the inner earth. Mm -hmm. And they're connected. Well, let's go deep into the inner earth, into the brothers and sisters there, and go deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. And look around and start describe what's happening there. Well, they are also gathered in a group of seven around a crystal, mm -hmm. and um, I'm sort of like, it's like I just arrived, but I don't want to interrupt, because <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm busy, mm -hmm. but I also feel like I can come here anytime, this is another home. Yeah. 
and so I'm just kind of watching from the outside and I'm walking I'm leaving them to do that business and I'm walking around this beautiful place it's so beautiful I love it here it's um, in the inner earth and it has giant trees big trees a bit like my staff the trees have got these really amazing trunks and bark system root system and we have places we've built places amongst the trees to rest Mm -hmm. and I can see I can see beds to lie in though they don't look like a earth bed they're not rectangular Mm -hmm. they're made out of they're like little nests Mm -hmm. they look like um, they're made out of wood polished or bamboo or something that's been weaved Mm -hmm. and then and then you get into them and there's feathers and it's like a nest Mm. Mm. it's so beautiful and that's where Mm. you rest so Mm. what's the purpose of that yeah they Mm. are resting resting and healing Mm -hmm. there's no difference yeah so why don't you take a moment to rest there mm-hmm. and take a moment to heal there? How does it feel to lay there? It feels good, but I still have anxiety because I... There's... Breathe there's into that. A moment to let go there, mm. letting go even more, starting to feel that and anxiety, leaving the body now. And I would like to close that scene as you rest there. Take a deep breath, let go even more. And go back and back in time to the most appropriate time and place where there's a healing and information about that anxiety, the origin of that anxiety. Going back and back in time. Arriving to that place now. And you can start looking around you. What do you see there? As you talked about it, it will release from your body. Mm. So, so I'm in the place where I meet my teacher, and he is a teacher of stones, the power of stones. There's some crystals, but I think he specializes in stones. And yeah, he has stones from all over all over the cosmos in this room. And it's sort of like you can touch the stones and and maybe go to those places. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure I know what to do with the stones yet. Because I'm learning and he's my teacher. Mm-hmm. And I'm in the room, there's a water fountain, there's actually, it's a stream that runs across the middle of the room, like a canal, a channel of water, Mm -hmm. pure water of the highest vibration, Mm -hmm. and then there's a place, like a pedestal to put the stones on in the middle of the pool, Mm -hmm. the channel. So when we work with the stones, I think we also work with the water. 
um, and I'm waiting for him here it's going to be my lesson it's a lesson in the stones to meet him mm -hmm. and there's something going on outside and I'm feeling anxious and and he comes he comes into the room and he's um hmm. he looks kind of like Jesus <laughs> He has beard and a white robe. He's a very beautiful man. Beautiful to look at, but beautiful energy. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so he has something to tell me. Listen and tell me what it is. I know, but I'm scared. <laughs> Take a deep breath and connect with this energy. Yeah, I know it's it's okay. Yeah, it's wonderful. So he takes time. He sits with me. We sit on a mat, cross-legged together, mm -hmm. and he holds my hands. And he says that the. He just says the beings have come and I have to go, I have to leave the planet. I just want to, I just want to sit with him for a second because he's not saying anything now. Mm -hmm. It's more like feeling yeah. his energy. Love is an energy, to work with your energies. Take a deep breath of it, fill it up in all your body, all your cells, mm. all the layers, the past, the present and the future, any timeline. And connect with this energy deeper and deeper. Allow his energy to Fill up your body. And ask your teacher, what may I call him? <sighs> I I did ask him and the name that I've been given is Merkaba. <laughs> Merkaba? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Take a deep breath. May I speak with Merkaba? Yes. Thank you so much for coming forward today. I'm very appreciate that you're joining us. Do you have any message that you'd like to share today to Louisa? Mm. She is so worried and sad and grieving about what is happening and has happened on this planet where I was her teacher but I am telling her now that it is so exquisitely beautiful that it is meant to be And that the fear codes that have been generated from this event are chosen and 
needed for resolution and creation. And these two words are to be remembered exquisite beauty that everything has exquisite beauty and I am at peace and I am in joy with all events this is what I want her to remember beautiful thank you so much for sharing this with her can you now help her releasing this grief releasing the sadness and those thought forms that causing that versus disconnection the grief is there because she believes that she has disconnected from me but there is never any disconnection and there is a stone here in her house that she knows is connected to this but she doesn't understand how connected it is that this stone will help her if she holds it there will be a sense of peace and faith and a remembrance of exquisite beauty can you elaborate about that stone what stone is that she knows what stone it is a little white stone very good very good would you do a body scan on her and see what other healing available for her I want to invite any light beings who would like to assist us now in the healing process to join us. What do you find? process of cleaning mm -hmm. that is well advanced for her at this time that the vessel is al almost clean there are if you could call it dust mm -hmm or grime a little bit and that is coming off quite easily a 
as we work with it. We are cleaning it now. What are you using? Just thought. Wonderful. Beautiful. Thank you for doing it. She wondered why she was losing her sight. Well, her sight is not so good for far. It is helpful for her. Mm. It is a teacher mm -hmm. to show her to look at what is right in front of her. because she has a very quick mind and dreaming mind she has a dreaming mind a mind that imagines and sees far 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 away she's very good seer yeah. but in this body she needs to be right here, present, in this body. So, sight was taken to bring her into the body. So she would focus less on the outside and more on the inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I understand that. Now that you know that information, would it be appropriate to correct that and to heal herself or is it still necessary for her? Soon. Soon. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I respect Being that. She ha is learning to be in the body when there is full union with present moment in trust and that full union in present moment is not disturbed easily by her desire to leave the body then the sight can come back okay Wonderful. She also mentioned that she, when we set the intention, she mentioned trust. Trust and knowing in that intention today. Mm. What can you bring forward that will mm. reassure that? It is the same thing. Trusting in the present moment. Seeing the present moment and trust in the present moment is the same thing and seeing the beauty mm. that's the exquisite beauty that's mm. okay yes seeing that seeing what is unseen but is felt that is the lesson mm. seeing what's unseen but is felt beautiful thank you for that She wanted to know if there is anywhere better for her to be location-wise, this lot 6, and if there's any shifting in her living situation. She should stay here. It's a good place for her. Yes, it is a good place for her. She is, she is the same as before, looking further, looking away, trying to see something bigger, better, away, but everything she has is right here. Everything she needs is right here. Wonderful. So 
there's no need of buying land or things like that at this time not yet okay she also finishing her studies and finishing her job and she is about to embark on a new path can you elaborate the highest timeline the best timeline for her regard her mm. service mm. it is the same answer this is the same lesson everything relates to this lesson at the moment the answer is to come close to see close what her gifts are her gift is being with people talking to people helping people with her being not she thinks that she needs fancy things to help people fancy tricks fancy talents but she doesn't she just needs herself mm -hmm. and there will be people that just need that mm -hmm. so her work is simple and if she works with what is here already then that will grow and be beautiful for her mm. it's beautiful thank you for that is there any advice would you like to give her regard financial things mm. I know that sometimes cause anxiety She feels that she needs to make action to buy land, buy this property and she can take that action but it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is to just be here and the money will come and she knows this not to worry not to try to force it or make it happen the advice is to go with what is effortless and to trust that mm. and whenever anything feels like too much effort that is a sign not to do it. Mm. Beautiful. She was wondering who are those grey beings with a soft skin that comes to visit her sometimes. Mm. Can you tell me more about them? Family Andromeda. Mm seventh dimension beautiful do they have a message for her today love just love love so much um, mm. Mm -hmm. mm. they are there they are there and she can she knows already to come into stillness to meet them and to request their presence and they will share more when she requests it mm -hmm. do they have anything to share with the collective today a message that they would like to give mm, the message is funny mm -hmm. the message is not all star family are blonde, tall and white skinned. <laughs> the message is about diversity. The message is about loving body, loving the body because it's a gift. The body is such a gift. 
and all bodies are beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you so much, family from Andromeda. She also were connected with the Lyrans and the earth being also today she was going to inner earth. She would like to know more about Lyra family. She is strongly connected to Lyra and the experiences that she has already had today are Lyran, Lyran family. And she has a sister here, Lyndall, Lyndall, L, Y, Lyra, these are clues. And her name is Linda, Louisa, her middle name is Linda, L, Y, Lyra, hmm. Lyndall and Louisa, Lyran sisters. And she is working with the Lyran energy to heal the storylines, to heal the storylines. Beautiful. This beautiful sister have a message for her today. Lyndall is strong and Lyndall Lyndall can be leaned on. Mm -hmm. Lyndall can be leaned on. They are working together. And they know it. Why did you choose to show her today the scene that you showed her? In the ceremony with going to mm. kids and giving them crystals. Mm. Because she asked for strengthening trust. And we wanted to show her that her memory of this place is true and she is that it's not original home but it is home in a heart way it is home of the heart this place And she can trust this memory and she can also trust connections with the inner earth beings because they are the one family. And the crystals and the children is to explain the tiredness explain why so tired that's just one lifetime of trying to help there are many many more but now that work is done and new work begins different work faster work can you elaborate about that that it's been done and now there's a new work what do you mean because if I was a dragon flying over a city of people, people could see me now and they wouldn't have been able to see me before. Mm. So it's faster. And we are bringing in so much light to the planet that Louisa in her physical form is here to help people who are scared help people who are scared that is her main work mm. beautiful 
And she also wanted to know about those dragon's energies and the dragon being and the one that possibly called mm. her tears. Mm. Sure with her information. Ah yes, is also from from this place, from Lyra, from from Lyra. From Lyra. From Lyra. She doesn't trust that. Why is that? She has a belief that dragons aren't on Lyra. Can we clear that now? Mm. Mm. Tell her more about that. And how the relationship here on the earth and what we can do to amplify it and to bring it forward. She's very hot. Mm-hmm. Very good. Let's take another cooling breath. Let it go. Smoothing and clearing and Allowing the energy to flow. May I speak with the higher self, please? Yes. Thank you so much. Would you continue to explain about the dragons, please? dragon is the element of fire in form. Fire in form is creation. It is the creative spark and it works with, we'll say, the hominid form to bring It's a team, both are needed. The hominid form dreams and the dragon carries the dream, feels the dream, brings the dream into form. Both are needed. Beautiful. So tell me more about the relationship with the dragon. How it's being done in form. It's a, it's like a soulmate relationship. It's a counterpart. It's essential element of this soul. It's like two sides of the same coin, the humanid and the dragon merged. Mm -hmm. Does she have only one dragon or more? One dragon. One dragon. And it's a fire dragon. Mm. Okay. So can you elaborate what else are they doing and show me how they're doing it? Flying through the cosmos, it's a vehicle, the dragon energy is all over the cosmos, everywhere, it is the energy, they are the lines of energy in form, in the form of a being, that is why they are called dragon lines. And the dragons follow the lines. Without the dragon, the human, the hominid form could not 
create its dreams. It begins in the heart and the mind of the hominid form and then it is translated through the energy of the dragon. Mm. They are one in the same thing, actually, but at the level that we are talking right now, they are two beings mm. working together, always working together, never separate. Mm. Beautiful. Can you share with me what's happening on the earth with the dragon lines and with the, that work that's been done here? Mm -hmm. I know we're being called to different sacred sites. What's happening when we go to those places? In relationship to the dragons, right? Yes. You are dreaming and then you are assisting and activating the dragon's energy to move. So both is needed, the dreamer and the dragon. You are the dreamer when you go to those sites and through your dream the dragon rises up, takes form and flows, flies through those energy lines and connects connects to the next one, connects to the grid and connects to the creation matrix that the dreamers on this earth are creating, making into manifest. At the moment it is energy and it is coming into form but it needs the dreamer and it needs the dragon. What's important to do in those sites when we go to those places? Is there anything particular that, as a dreamer, it's important to do? Mm. Visualize liberation. Visualize and feel liberation. And not just liberation, but whatever liberation means to you. Each dreamer is different and the liberation template has its own unique makeup. But focusing on liberation and love and light will allow the dragon to rise. Mm -hmm. So focusing on love and light in whatever way, and liberation. And, and liberation. Liberation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is important, liberation, because the word liberation has energy in it. Mm -hmm. It is a moving word. Mm -hmm. Love and light. Light is a moving word. Love is a stasis word. Mm -hmm. Love is very very still. Hmm. I'm wondering, there was a side that felt called for us to make love on that side, mm. intimate making love. Mm. Is that appropriate? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. Very good. That's beautiful. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for this information. Um, she also wanted to know if there is more healing with her brother that is available and if we can learn more about that relationship. Bring more forgiveness and bring more clarity. She needs to use the dragon fire energy in her relationship with her brother. She needs to say no energetically she needs to be strong she knows what it means when I say dragon energy it's the fire the fearless fire that is breathed out in service to all and she's not to be afraid to use the dragon fire in service to all 
he will not be harmed. He will learn. It is safe for her to be powerful. Mm. She can love and forgive and be powerful at the same time. Mm. And when she breathes the fire, she is to see it as magenta in the center and know that it is a fire of love. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you for that. She also wanted to know more about her connection to the reptile, the snake being. Mm -hmm. I showed her a little bit today. Mm. There is very strong relationship with reptile and snake, and she has been snake, she has been reptile. And she knows the integrity codes of those creatures, those beings. She knows what it is to be those beings in integrity and in service to all. She also knows what it means to be those beings in service to self. Mm -hmm. And those beings assist her to integrate her negative polarity. Mm -hmm. So the beings are messengers of integration, messengers of love for all. Mm -hmm. They are the shadow that is to be loved. And she is already doing that. So she is to do that more, come closer and closer to the reptile. We want her to focus on what is in front of her again, not what is in the cosmos, mm -hmm. but what is right here in this earthly land, this realm. There are snakes who are just as mystical and magical as the greatest being that ever rode through the cosmos. Mm -hmm. We want her to connect to those beings in the physical, to ground in that integration, knowingness and love for reptile brother. Mm -hmm. So you have this beautiful python snake that is coming around. What's significant about that or what would you like to share mm. about that? She is doing really good work with the snake. She is saying no to the snake, but she's loving the snake at the same time. This is the dragon fire that we speak of. Being powerful by loving. She is to stand up to the snake and love the snake equally. And she will know that that is an okay and safe thing to do. Yeah. She's balancing, balancing her energies. She has been too kind and too nice to the weakness of her integrity and her energy body. So Snake is teaching her to balance that perfectly hmm. very good what about this goddess Inanna can we learn more about her today Inanna carries the power of the snake Inanna is what she will integrate when she works with snake energy calling on Inanna will 
assist her to feel this power. Wonderful. Is Inanna is mm. present right now? May we call her, please? Yes. Thank you so much. Let's take a deep breath, please. Allow the energy of Inanna to integrate into the body so we may speak with her. May I speak with Inanna, please? I am here. Thank you so much. Would you like to give a message to Louisa, please? Confidence. Be confident. You are power. You are power. You are power. small Louisa feels sometimes and we will work with her to change that for service to all when she meditates on the name Inanna she will cultivate and grow this power which is our shared power available to her to use and it is safe to become powerful it is safe to fill with light it is safe to know all that you know it is safe to return to love in completeness thank you so much may I speak with the higher self please Thank you so much. I would like to check if there's any of the ancestors of Louisa that have a message for her today. Mm. Nana. Mm -hmm. Her grandmother. What you would like to tell her today? says you are a top girl and Louisa knows what this means and she says thank you for work ongoing work here on earth and she says Thank you for looking after her son. <sighs> Thank you for healing wounds that she left. 
Mm. And she is with me to help heal those wounds. anyone else from the ancestors or any other beings who would like to take today the opportunity to give uh, messages? Mm. There's Ananga. He doesn't speak much. あいやあかねそこばかやとこらよまやとしょくのそこらとやくわいことらまだねんとそこやこやばかなとないよばせくやとこれかねねやぽとそにしにかとびよぽこらとそこにやってみやんなととばた さんやとそのよべてへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへ
so just that you have brought much light to this being and reminded her of what it feels like to be in higher states and so this is the work you do wherever you go and that is that is enough you don't need to try so hard mm. yeah mm. It, it's effortless Thank you so much, what you said. And is there a final message for the collective today? Peace. Find a way into places of peace outside and inside we are the calm before not the storm we are the calm before the celebration and peace is assisting us all when we ask for it it is needed there is a lot of restlessness a lot of agitation even amongst star seeds who know these amazing times, peace, bring yourself back to peace, be still as much as you can. Mm.